Hey guys, I'm finally doing a full jewelry tour. Okay, this is my most asked, like, requested video, so I'm finally going to show you guys where everything's from. Also, disclaimer, I buy everything on my own unless they're gifted to me. And I will splurge all my money on jewelry because I think it's a huge investment and I'm always wearing it. It's, like, a part of me. I also have bought these things throughout the years. I don't just buy them, like, in a day or, like, in a week. But yeah, I'm just going to start with my bracelets because that's literally what you guys ask in every video. Okay, most of my bracelets are from Tiffany & Co. So on my left hand, I have this heart toggle one on a chain. I actually bought this secondhand on Poshmark. And a lot of people are really iffy buying secondhand because obviously you don't know if it's authentic. But Poshmark is really good because if it's not authentic, you can get your money back. And my way of authenticating it is I buy it, I take it to the Tiffany store to get it cleaned. And they will only clean it if it's authentic. So they checked it and it was all good. This is actually an old version. They don't sell this anymore. It doesn't have the engravings, but you can get a similar one on the website. I think it's just more expensive. I think it retails for like 600 now, I think, but I bought mine for 200 Okay, and then this one in the middle is from Hermes. I don't know what shade this is. It's in between the hot pink and the really light pink, but this is my favorite for stacking, and it's so easy to take on and off. You just unclip it, and it opens up like that. And then the last one on the bottom is just like a little bead one with a heart. I got this on my 17th birthday from my sister. And it's also from Tiffany & Co. Moving on to my right wrist, everything's from Tiffany & Co. as well. So the first one on the very top is really dainty. I love this bracelet. I bought this for myself as a grad gift and it's just a heart with a small chain. And then I have this one with like a little oval on a chain. And then this one is basically the same as the little one, but it's just bigger beads and it has a heart as well. So that's my wrist. Now I'm going to move on to my rings. I don't wear rings that often anymore, but they're both from Tiffany's. So my left hand, I have this one. <laughs> it's like a little dangle and it's really cute. And then on my right hand, I have this one. My mom actually gave this to me. It's like from the, I don't know, tea collection. Moving on to my necklace. This is from Binky Bell. Y'all know I love Binky Bell. They have the best jewelry like ever. I shower with them all the time. They don't rust. So this one has my initial on it and it has a little bear charm. This is it up close. I also mix gold and silver a lot. I think it looks good, but it's really controversial. But it also comes in silver, my necklace. I just switched this out though. So before I had this, I had the Tiffany one. I always wear this. Um, it's just a regular heart on a small chain. And then I layered it with a Van Cleef dupe. <laughs> this one is from TJ Maxx. It was like $20. Okay, and then my earrings are from Binky Bell as well. I have different piercings on both sides. This side has three piercings, so the big ones from Binky Bell, the two studs I just got when I got my ears pierced. Now my right, again, Binky Bell. The cuff is also Binky Bell, and then two studs when I got my ears pierced. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! Hey guys, get ready with me. My lips are so dry. Also, I curled my hair with a curling wand, thanks to Kira. Kira's my neighbor, by the way. Um, she's like one door down from me, and she's like my favorite person ever. And she has this really nice curling wand, and I use it, and I love it. But I think it turned out so good. Like, there's such a difference between a curling wand and like the clippy ones. Like, I don't know. It looks a little like stiff right now. I brushed it through with my fingers, but my hair does not stay, so I don't want to like actually brush it. It'll fall out on its own throughout the day, but I literally, Kira was doing her reading and I was just like, can I curl my hair? <laughs> and I just sat in her room curling my hair while she was reading her book for English. So thanks, Kira. <laughs> Anyways, today I had an 8.30 class and I set my alarm for 7.20 p.m. Like, instead of AM. I think I was just so tired last night that I wasn't, like, looking at my phone properly. And then I did PM by accident. So, Chelsea came banging on my door at 8.05 and was like, hello? Like, are you ready? And obviously, I clearly wasn't. I literally opened my door, like, butt naked. Because <laughs> we were supposed to get breakfast together. But, um, I missed breakfast. But I made it to my class with five minutes remaining. So, yay. But like I literally, I just got up, I put on clothes, and then I just left. But my 8.30 class is so great. We literally just watch movies and we analyze the music in the back. It's probably my favorite elective, but um, after class, I just came back here. Now I'm just getting ready. I still have some time until my next class, so I'm just going to do some homework and probably edit videos. My next class is at 2.30 and it's my writing class and we have our first assignment due this week and we have to write a fucking short story. And honestly, I used to write Wattpad stories in grade 9, so I'm gonna recycle one of them. 
no i'm just kidding guys i'm not actually gonna do that we have to follow a prompt anyways so i need to start writing it i actually did start it this morning um but it's 400 words max which is really little so i don't know how i'm going to make this work anyways i have the fattest crush on <laughs> this guy in my class um he's not i don't have class with him today unfortunately i talked to him once like i said one word to him and i was shivering in my boots <laughs> Anyways, that's all you guys get about my love life. <laughs> I actually haven't been using powder recently. I like kind of forget about it, but I kind of like the glowy look, but I don't know. Favorite lip gloss from Say in the shade Kiss. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, get ready with me. Okay, I have some really exciting news, so... First off, my YouTube video is finally up. It's my moving in video. Um, it's just linked in my bio. Or you can just search me up. It's the exact same username as my TikTok username. Second thing is I'm going to New York this weekend. Guys, I'm so freaking excited. I love New York so much. I went for my first time last um, winter and it was the best. Basically, my mom's going for a wedding, her cousin's wedding, and she asked me if I wanted to go. And I originally didn't want to because I didn't want to miss class. But I just dropped a class yesterday, so I'm down to four courses. Um, I originally had five, but four is enough. And so now I'm going to New York. We leave on Friday, and then I come back on Tuesday. I dropped my English class because I found out that I already had an English class next semester, so I didn't need to. And I really did not enjoy that English class whatsoever. Um, I wanted to drop my entrepreneurship class. And there was two reasons why I didn't, because it just doesn't make sense for me to drop it because I want to create my own business when I'm older, so it makes sense to take that class. And I feel like what I'm doing with social media right now really, like, is kind of, like, like connects, kind of. And the second reason is because for our first assignment, we have to interview, like, an entrepreneurship. Sorry, I totally said that wrong, an entrepreneur, and I ended up getting a interview with the CEOs of Glow Recipe which is really awesome. Um, okay, technically I didn't do anything. My agents reached out for me. So thanks to them. I literally owe them so much, but I'm so excited. Anyways, I have one class today at 9.30 and then I'm done for the day. I'm actually so happy I dropped my English class because I really, I did not enjoy that class at all. And it's a tiny ass class too. There's like 10 people in it, so... Basically, Chelsea and I are in that class together, and during the first class, we literally got in trouble for being too loud. Setting spray. Literally, why am I always running late? My friends are banging on my door. Hey guys, get ready for me to interview Ugh. the CEOs of Glow Recipe. Anyways, some context. Basically, for my entrepreneurship class, our first assignment, we have to interview um, an entrepreneur. And so I thought, why not interview the freaking founders of the of Glow Recipe? I mean, I've worked with them so close over the past couple months. And I mean, I still am. So I thought it would just make perfect sense to interview them. So there's two. There's a CEO and a co-founder. So the meeting's at 8.30. It's like 8.17 right now. So I kind of have to hurry because I want some time to prep. I have all the questions that I have to ask them and... I have to take a bunch of notes, but I'm actually so excited and I think it's just crazy. You know, I thought it was just a fun idea. I was like, you know, let me just hit them up real quick. <laughs> I think they're such a great brand and such great people to work with. And they're the ones that kind of really like started my whole TikTok thing. So I thought it really makes sense to interview them for my freaking entrepreneurship assignment. But if I had told myself five months ago, I'd be interviewing the CEOs of Glow Recipe for an school assignment i'd be like what like i think it's just crazy anyways i'm in a bit of a time crunch because i just want to have some time before um the meeting actually starts to prep myself it is also getting so cold like recently i've been freezing waking up it was pouring rain yesterday as well but it is a busy busy day for me today because i have so many assignments due oh god i sound sick everyone here is getting sick like Apparently COVID's back. I was like, what? And it's like apparently worse this time. I'm trying to like keep my distance because I'm going to New York this weekend. So I don't really want to get sick right now. 
but everyone was super sick last week i thought i had strep throat last week not gonna lie but i think i i'm fine <laughs> anyways it literally feels like winter like it feels like it's like a snowing a blizzard right now all right it's 8 24 i want to be done by like 8 26 y'all i need to start packing for new york i leave um campus tomorrow night which is so exciting a lot of people i know are actually um going home this weekend but i haven't been home in like ages it hasn't been ages but it feels like ages all right y'all meeting's about to start i'm just doing some last touch-ups guys hi everyone get ready to leave for class okay i have to like back this up a little but i leave for new york tomorrow y'all so basically i'm going home right after this class ends my class starts at 2 30 and it's almost two right now and i still haven't packed anything so i need to hurry up also charlotte sent me their new water cream so i'm gonna try it out basically tomorrow morning we have to leave at like six i think because our flight's at um oh shit that was a lot i can already feel how watery it is i'm gonna mix it with my goldie drops but our flight leaves at 9 a.m so i'm assuming six is what time we have to be out of the house by anyways i haven't packed anything like i said so right after we film this i'm just gonna start throwing a bunch of things in my suitcase this cream smells so good and it feels really hydrating on the skin i really like it i'm just doing concealer right now anyways i've been in bed all day i literally just got up to get ready for my class i was supposed to have an 8 a.m this morning but my prof was in here so we didn't have class I don't really know what to pack for New York because I don't know if I already said this, but I'm going for um, a family's wedding. So I need to wear like a long dress and I don't have any long dresses. So I'll probably look for one in New York. I leave on um, Friday, so tomorrow morning, and then I come back on Tuesday um, afternoon, I think. So it's not a super long trip, but I think it's still going to be so much fun. Because, I mean, it's New York, but I have an assignment due for this class that I'm going to today at 11.59. This is the one where we had to write a short story, and it's, like, done, but I don't know how to end it. And I'm also, like, way over the word limit. 500 words was the max, and I honestly don't know, like, how anyone can write a short story with 500 words. Oh, also, I didn't even update you guys on how the interview went yesterday with Glow Recipe. It was so good. I got so much information obviously about the brand itself so i'm probably gonna type that up on the plane tomorrow also fun fact this is actually like setting spray as well i have a bunch of food that's gonna go bad in my refrigerator so i need to throw them out all right my class starts in half an hour and honestly i just have so much to do still i'm like struggling i've seen people put the benetton on their lips so oh, i'm just gonna try it out a little oh damn that looks kind of good. Anyways, I'm out. Hey guys, I have a huge haul. Okay, if you can't tell, I'm back in my room. I came back from university because I'm going to New York tomorrow. My mom has been bringing all my PR to me at university because there's like something wrong with my address. But she couldn't bring all of it, so I'm going to open the rest here. Okay, first we have a huge package from Aritzia. I did a huge order for like fall. So first I got this sweatshirt. It's like rory gilmore vibes and i really like it okay this is actually chelsea's but she just got this regular navy sweatshirt i got this hoodie these are literally my favorite hoodies ever these are the perfect hoodies they just fit so well i got cargo pants i literally never wear cargo pants so i thought i'd try them out and these look pretty cute okay i'm really excited about this i got this denim skirt i've been wanting a denim skirt for a while I got a basic white tank top, just a staple. You can probably get this at Walmart. I got this black ribbed like long sleeve and I think it's really good for winter or fall. Last but not least, I got this black shirt. I really don't know why. I don't remember ordering this at all. Okay, it's actually navy, not black, but cute basic, I guess. Next is Amazon. I think this is just, yep, my curling wand. I've been curling my hair a lot recently, but it was my roommate's Kira's, and I really like it, so I just got this one. I don't know which one she has, though. It had, like, no brand on it. I wanted the exact same one as hers, but she got this from Amazon. Okay, this is from when I went to LA a few weeks back. I went to the showroom, and Ilya gifted me their mascara, and this is their um, Super Serum Skin Tint. All right, now we have this box, which I have no idea what it is, so we're going to find out. 
Okay, I actually have no idea what this is. This brand is, oh, Persona. Okay, they gifted me a bronze multi-stick, a blush multi-stick, a, also another blush, I think this one's just powder, and then this is a cheek and lipstick, and then this cute double-sided brush. Now we have this huge package from Functional Beauty Pro. Holy mother freaking wah! If you don't know Functional Beauty Pro, they are this hair care brand. They have a bunch of like shampoo conditioners. It's really cool. You can like customize your own shampoo and conditioner. I have a video up on my page using their stuff. If you guys want to check it out. Holy crap. This is insane. Okay, so this is shampoo. And then this is the conditioner down here. And then these are like the things you mix into it. Thank you, Function of Beauty. Anyways, that's it for this haul. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready for me to go to the airport. I'm going to New York. I'm so excited. It's 5 a.m. right now, and we have to leave at 5.45. Y'all, it feels so freaking good to be back home. I slept so well last night on my bed. Like, I just want to never leave. Anyways, I got home at like 7 p.m. last night. I was supposed to take the 4, the 5 p.m. ferry, but I missed it. Okay, I feel like I never use my bubble stuff, and you guys are always talking about bubbles, so I'm gonna use this. JK, I'm actually gonna use this eye cream first. I haven't used an eye cream in so long. I forgot to bring this with me to universities, so. Oh, it feels so good. Anyways, our flight is at um, 9 a.m., so. I honestly don't know why we're going so early. But guys, I'm literally so excited. I'm vlogging the whole time I'm there. I'm already vlogging right now. Actually, I started the vlog yesterday, but I can't wait to post it on YouTube. I also just posted my um, move-in video on YouTube. If you guys want to watch that, the link's in my bio. I think I'm going to do my makeup on the plane like last time when I went to LA. Um... What is going on? Okay, I don't know why my sister sneezes like that. Is there a sound on this? Oh my god, I have... <laughs> what is this filter? What the fuck? Has this been on the whole time? <laughs> this is so silly. I'm gonna use this... Why does she sneeze like that? Every morning, every night, like... I'm using this spray from Bubble. <laughs> Y'all, I missed half of my stuff so much. Like, I wasn't able to bring half my skincare with me. And it's just so good to just, like, look at them. Like, hello. Anyways, I'm out. See you guys on the plane. Hey, guys. Get rid of me. Day one of New York City. Okay, it's 9.30 right now. And today, we're doing a full day. Oh, hello. We are shopping today. I literally I looked outside and it's pouring rain. I just curled my whole head and I'm wearing a skirt today, so I really don't know how that's going to work uh, with today's weather. Like, this is my outfit today. It's really cute, but not suitable. Anyways, we're going to go get bagels for breakfast, and I'm so excited. I literally haven't had a New York bagel in so long. I always get an egg and cheese bagel with like onions. It's my go-to order. It's the best thing ever. I think we're going to Soho today. I hope so because Soho is the best place to shop. I really want to get one of those sticky grip things for my phone because I feel like it's such it's always at such an awkward angle when I travel. Forgot to put on my flawless filter. I also I'm pretty sure I forgot to bring a beauty blender. Okay, so it turns out I didn't bring concealer, which I totally I swear I packed it. I feel like I'm missing like half of my stuff, but I actually got stopped by security because I way overpacked my liquids. One of the girls were really nice. She was like, oh my god, I love your videos. And I was like, let me through. But I made it through as we all see. Okay, turns out I forgot setting spray as well. How am I forgetting everything? I brought so much stuff that I like literally don't need and I forgot to bring all the necessities. Okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna make things work with what I have. Y'all, I don't have a powder puff. I'm just gonna use this brush. Feels like a crime. This is for blush. 
Also, the wedding's on Monday, but there's like a bar tonight. But obviously, I'm not gonna go because I'm underage and I can't drink. Oh, so I think I'm just gonna spend the night walking around Times Square. Right, I'm gonna bend tint the lips. All right, I'm done. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, huge New York City haul. Okay, there's like a bunch of stuff and all the bags are wet because it was pouring rain today. But I'm gonna quickly go through everything and show you guys what I got. Okay, first stop was Glossier. I got the hand cream. It smells so good and I think the packaging is literally so cute. And then I got the roll-on um, perfume, but this is for my sister. Then I got this green sweatshirt. I thought it was so cute. I got it in the size large. It's like matcha green and it's fuzzy on the G. Next, Urban Outfitters. Okay, first I got this gray sweatshirt and it's like off the shoulder. It's on like this and I think it's really cute. I got this tube top. And then I got this pink tank top. And this is what it looks like. Okay, I had to quickly change into a shirt because it's really cold. <laughs> Hazel, this is actually for my sister. So if you're my sister, don't watch this. I didn't even know there was a Hazel store. So it was so cool. But I got her a bracelet. It's so cute. I actually wanted it for myself as well. But it's like, it has a little D on it. And it's like a chain. Next, I went to Kendra Scott. The tissue paper is all wet from the rain. Okay, but I got two things. It was my first time in there. So it was super cool. I got these heart stud earrings and then i got this customized necklace which was so cool i didn't know you could do that but it's like a black sparkly crystal okay now i'm gonna do brandy mobile i got these blue pj shorts this heart bra top this baby tee that says new york city on it this shirt is so weird but i have like a vision it's like a cropped hooded shirt i don't know these blue flared pants, and I think the waist like band is so cool. Another one of these little like bra tops. Another one, a blue one. <laughs> and then last thing is this, I have this in navy and it's my favorite. It's like an off the shoulder like sweatshirt. Okay, from Sephora, I got the Living Proof Flex hairspray and then this deodorant because I heard it's good. Okay, last thing, most exciting item is my Prada bag. <laughs> I have been wanting this bag for like, months and i finally decided to get it it's actually so gorgeous oh my gosh the size the color the it also comes with a longer strap if i want to wear it like crossbody or that's the inside that's all bye guys hey guys i'm in an italian restaurant right now but i'm gonna do a chanel unboxing okay i'm opening it up i have the first box and then the second box all right i'm gonna open the small one first this is the first thing i got a little wallet it's like a pastel blue and it zips open like this and then there's a bunch of compartments inside Okay, so that was the first thing. Now I'm gonna open the second box. <laughs> okay, this is the second box. Ah! Okay. There's a little case for it. Got these sunnies. <laughs> Take this out. Show you guys what it looks like on. <laughs> This is like a new collection. Okay, thanks for watching guys, bye. Hey guys, get ready me for a wedding. Okay, just curled my hair really lightly, but it's 4.30 and the wedding starts at 6. Alright, I'm just doing some really light skincare because I already did skincare this morning and I just took off all my makeup during the day. Basically, this is my mom's cousin's um, wedding and I'm so excited. It's basically the whole reason why we're in New York City is because we're here just for their wedding. <laughs> I have my dress in the back. I'm going to put it on at the end and show you guys, but it's gorgeous. I just got it from Aritzia. Also, I already have mascara on. I didn't remove that because mascara is just such a chore and I didn't want to do my whole like eyes again. It's just so much work and I feel like my lashes never look the same after I remove it and then do it again. I literally forgot to bring concealer with me. This is all I have. This is an eye brightener, so it's not like full coverage. 
but it'll just have to do for now and i'm just gonna blend my finger because i also forgot a beauty blender i was out and about in soho today and i met so many of you guys it was insane thank you to everyone who came up to me also don't be afraid to come and say hi i see a lot of you guys like staring and like whispering but like guys it's super chill like i swear i won't bite i love saying hi to you guys you guys are so sweet anyways oh my gosh it's like a little heart um what was i saying <laughs> I leave New York City tomorrow, um, tomorrow night, I think. Like, time goes by so fast when you're having fun. I literally don't want to go back to school. But I might go back to Soho tomorrow. I love Soho so much. It's, like, my favorite place in New York. I also didn't bring setting spray with me, so I'm going to powder up a lot. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Powder Highlight for my nose and then my inner corners. And then the Charlotte on my cheekbones, and I usually go up on my eyebrow and I connect them together. And since this is like a special occasion, I brought this Rare Beauty like shadow stick, and it's just glittery, and I'm just going to put it on my eyelid. Oh, it's so gorgeous, and I'm just going to blend with my fingers. Recurling my lashes. Look at that difference. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to put my dress on now. Okay, my mom's just putting my dress on. It's really complicated in the back. No, mommy, it's not this. Fine, love. Oh, this is the back of the dress. Final touches. All right, this is the final look. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, get ready for me for my last day in New York City. I literally cannot believe it's already my last day. I have such a busy day today, though. Also, I don't know what the red thing on my nose is it's not bumpy so it's not a pimple but it's just i think it's just a little irritated right now basically today at 11 i have a meeting and then after that i'm getting a tour of nyu no i do not go to nyu a lot of you guys are asking me that um i do want to go to nyu though eventually as you can see i'm already repping their merch um but i definitely do want to transfer their for my second year so I'm, I think I'm gonna apply. I honestly don't know why I didn't last year for my first year. I think I was just scared because it's such a prestigious school. I also didn't think it was like financially possible because it's 80k a year for international students and I'm Canadian so I would count as international. But basically funny story this girl reached out to me through my Instagram DMs yesterday and she was like hey like if you're still in New York City like I'd love to give you a tour of NYU. And honestly, I was just like, okay, why not? Like, I'm already here, so might as well get a free tour of NYU. And she obviously goes to school. I think she's also a first-year student like me. I think it's just so funny because I, like, never check my DMs, and the one time I do, I was like, okay, I'm gonna answer this one. <laughs> and NYU isn't a campus you can just, like, walk onto and explore on your own. You need a pass from someone that, like, goes there. So when she sent me the pass, I was like, oh, like really happening but i'm so excited if you're watching this thank you so much anyways my flight also leaves tonight at 7 p.m i believe and then the next morning at like 6 a.m i have to take the ferry back to my school i've been using this new mascara from Ilya. i heard it's really good because it has like shea butter in it anyways i've missed so much class it's actually like insane okay lashes are done now i'm just gonna powder up a little under my eyes Maybe some Benetton on the lips as well. All right, I'm done. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, get ready with me. Okay, I'm back at school, as y'all can tell, unfortunately. I'm so sad that New York's over, but it had to end at some point. Also, I already did my skincare, so I'm just skipping that, but I'm low-key, like, so stressed out right now. I have, like, so much to do in, like, such little time. I've missed three lectures for one class only. Luckily, they're, like, recorded, so I'm just gonna, like, re-watch them. But they're all, like, an hour long, so I'm gonna be, like, sitting there watching pre-recorded lectures for the whole day. Also, I just got this new bronzer from Lancome, and it's so gorgeous. Anyways, I have, like, two assignments due today, and I finished one of them on the ferry bag. I also missed my 9 a.m. Basically, I flew home from New York last night, and then I took the ferry back to my school this morning at 6 a.m., and I didn't get back on campus until, like, 9 so I clearly did not make it to my 9 a.m., but I was finishing an assignment on the ferry, so that's good. I just have to print it out, which is so annoying because she wants us to submit it online and also hand in, like, a hard copy. But it is what it is. I have another class today at 4.30, so I'm struggling. I really need to work on, like, time management. I'm, like, so bad at it. I need to start, like, 
actually getting my shit done anyways i'm gonna spend the whole day just catching up today like that's all i'm gonna do but i'm so excited for you guys to see the new york vlog i haven't started editing it yet because obviously i just got back yesterday but i will let you guys know as soon as it's posted i'm aiming for the end of oh my gosh every time i travel with this it like explodes like the air pressure or something but anyways i'm aiming for probably the end of this week or early next week i'm also probably gonna go home this weekend i literally slept in my bed last night and it felt so good like it was the best sleep of my life i also miss my friends back at home so i honestly just might do it this is like one of the speediest get ready with me's i have ever done Anyways, bye guys.